What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back <laughs> with another video. And pause the game, get comfortable, do whatever you got to do. This is an instant classic. This is without a shadow of a doubt, the comeback of the century, comeback of the year. It doesn't mean I'm going to win. You guys have seen me come back from huge leads and take an L. But regardless, this is definitely a comeback worth watching. Watch this one all the way. We're in our um, most feared jerseys in the black. My opponent has the Giants jerseys. And already we're starting off horrible. Down 7 to nothing, and the video just started. I think he tried to get as many Giants players on his team as he could. He has Jason Seahorn on his team, who gave me problems in this game. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor. Um, as I throw a, a horrible pick right there. Or, or then again, I mean, he looked like he was kind of open, I, I, I think, for a second, but. A person could be open for a second in this game. Next thing you know, somebody moves in front of them, especially if they got that Ryan Shane's ear. And you're pretty much getting picked off. Ain't, ain't nothing you can do about it. That's double T, man. Somebody get him, man. I, I tried to get him and hit stick him. Look at this interception right here. <laughs> Fitzpatrick does get it, though, man. Fitz, Fitz is a beast, man. If you have a budget team, get you a Fitz. But, um, yeah, I tried to hit stick him as we get hit stick right there. That was Barry, too, man. Oh, man, I wanted to cry. This guy got all the momentum, but, but yeah, with the, um, my internet kind of lags. I was trying to hit him. He also has Michael Strahan. I think I do. I think I mentioned Lois Taylor. I believe I mentioned, uh, Jason Seahorn, uh, Saquon Barkley. So I, I think he got as many Giants players on his team as he possibly could. I, I think this guy is clearly. A Giants fan, a fourth down to 12. This guy, he, he just went for it, not, not necessarily needing to, but luckily he doesn't get it. So we get a little luck every day. So we get a little bit of a little bit of a spark, a little bit of a spark, and we'll take it. And we're just trying to figure out, you know, how we can put some points on the board, man. Seven will be nice, but you know, right here I think I can take three because I really don't have any momentum right now. We got a lot of game left though. Um, end of the first quarter, we head into the second quarter. I go to the left a little bit right here. Joe Burrow th um, throwing a run is a 97, I believe, but right there to like a 57. I don't know what the heck was going on right there. I really wish he was more accurate on that throw on the run, but it's all good. I said, let's just get some points. Let's just get three. We're only down two touchdowns. We've been down two touchdowns before. We're fine, man. This guy was giving me problems with the stretch. The problem that, look at this, man. Somebody get him, man. This stretch play is an absolute headache, man. Not a nightmare, but a headache. But the difference between this guy and most opponents, look at this, man. You got to be kidding me. Double T for real? On the, man, my players got some high awareness, man. That's why, I, that's why I picked these specific players. And they let this guy double T. Do a read option and get into the end zone, man. You've got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, LP, what are you putting for? It's 4 for 20, 4 for 17, man. I got to be smart. Hitting, <laughs> hitting fence, but I couldn't get him. But yeah, the real, the thing that he's doing with the inside zone is that he's not going outside. He's cutting inside. Why is that a big deal? Because if he cuts on the outside, I figured out how to pursue. I hate that play. I figured out how to do a pursuit and, you know, get him most of the time. But to cut in... It was giving me problems. He does a little inside zone right here, switching up a little bit. So I guess he wasn't doing zone <laughs> the whole game. That's most of the game. But he probably switched to this because um, the defense I was trying to adjust it was leaving that open. So he got that one. So 27-3, to three, we're down 24 points, man. Top of the second half. What is that boy LP got for him? We know one thing. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to give up. You ain't going to make me quit. We go right over the middle, man. <laughs> To the boy Galloway, it's your boy, and we get a nice huge play right there. Then we go for two. We hit Olsen on the right hand side. I never ran this play before. I wanted to switch it up, do something different for myself. And look at this. Here you go again, man. It's giving me problems running on the inside. We got to figure him out. He goes to the right to side. Nice spin move, good play by him. Um, the stretch. Um, doesn't bother me anymore, so now I can kind of say it's a good play versus how it was in the be um kind of probably like two months ago where I, I couldn't stop it at all. Even though I'm not doing a good job of stopping it right now, I have to um lab for this because I'm not really sure how to go up against this when someone's going on the inside. Even though we do push them back on that play, second down to three. Look at this. Even Dion Lewis is getting up. I'm like, man, somebody get him. Somebody get somebody. Man, fourth down. And four, we send a blitz. We got a little lucky right there because that guy was wide open. He probably shouldn't have missed that pass, but we would take it. I believe that's now that's straight hand right there. Straight hand was sacking me. Lawrence was sacking me. It, this this game was um this game was a headache, man. These are not comfortable games. Third down and twenty two, we hit H M and he he comes through for us. Fourth down and seven. 
this is a horrible pass and you're probably going to be looking at this like LP what are you doing this is so uncharacteristic of you especially when you're down you know you can be clutch most of the time what's going on you're down 33 to 11 how do you come back and this is the bottom of third quarter quarter LP what are you doing what did you bring me here for you said this was an instant classic what's going on then you get sacked like what is the deal the, look at this this is the deal your boy Galloway <laughs> What a huge catch again. He's usually not the one producing huge catches for me. It's usually Calvin Johnson or Herman Moore. As we go deep to Mark Andrews, the unkind is coming through for your boy right now. Mark Andrews, that doesn't happen. Greg Olson over the middle, this usually doesn't happen. We had to play outside ourselves to find a way to get back into this one, even though we throw a huge pick right there. I'm like, man, somebody get this young man. What is going on, man? Like, what's going on with me? But we are down 16. So this is technically two possessions. Top of the fourth quarter, man. How in the world does LP find a way to come back from this, man? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Second down at 16. Hopefully we can get the win. He goes deep right here. I thought I had to pick him. Like, come on, uh, Adams. Any other time, Adams will pick that off. Finally, we kind of took care of that inside zone on that play. Fourth and 19. Can we get a stop? Man, this guy has just been going for it on fourth now um, like crazy. But I think he got hit with um, an internet splicer. And we got a little lucky right there. A little luck is good. I think this guy thinks this game is over. 33 to 17 looks like a blowout, but to me it's only two possessions. Let's go. It's your boy. Herman Moore coming through. The guy that usually comes through. Two-point conversion. We go to the right. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? Let's hit Galloway again, man. He had two huge catches for us. Let's hit him again. And we're down eight, man. Let's go. Yo, somebody make a play, somebody do something, man. But that time I got him on the inside. I said, okay, you wanna go to the inside? I'm starting to figure you out, man. I throw a little a little blitz right there, a little a, a little launch pad blitz <laughs> right there. I don't have an ebook, I'm sorry. Third down and um 13, he gets that though. But look at this. It's your boy! I, I went out on a limb and gets it. Come on, Luke. Come on, Keith, get all the way to the end zone with your slow behind, bro. Get in there. It's your boy. Now we got a chance to tie the game. I can't believe it, but, oh, man. <sighs> well, you know, I did figure out how to stop his stretch. I did come back. I know we didn't get the win, but this was a heck of a comeback, though, man. You got to give me this, man. This was definitely a heck of a comeback. Um... I just don't have enough time. I don't have enough timeouts. I wish I had to save my timeouts, but, but man, shout out to my opponent, man. Much love, much respect, man. The comeback was um was wild, man. You know, and the first he finally punched it now. Now that he know he has a game in hand, man. He got, but you gotta get this guy some credit, though, man. This guy, I, I he got my respect, man, because he was he was just throwing it. Even he, I don't think this dude really cared, man. But yo, boy. <laughs> Let's look at this again. Unbelievable. Inconceivable. How did LP do this? No way this should have happened, bro. No way. I know I let you guys to believe I was going to take this L. But we found this guy was pissed. I can tell he was pissed, man. He definitely threw his Xbox out the window after this one. This is Weekend League 2. It's this week. It's a weekend league game, bro. You know, uh, every game counts, man. Oh my goodness, bro. If I ain't got one of the best Madden channels on YouTube, then who? If I ain't one of the best, then who, bro? How, man? I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. If, bro. Just look at the last game when I, I got a kickoff return to tie the game up to take it in the overtime and draft champions. Only two people watched it. Bro. Oh my goodness, man. Yo, I respect this dude, though, man. I get this dude his pride. I know it's my self I know you probably thinking like LP, you know, him going forward on fourth now, but practically will put you back in the game. But. From another perspective, you no, know, this guy could have just 
<laughs> he could have just ran the ball the whole time, I guess, and just not really just good at playing boring. I know he, I, he he felt like he had the game in hand. Okay, you got to understand. He felt like it was in hand. I understand. I've done this before. You know, he felt like the game in hand. He felt like there's no way a person could come back and they come back on you and they find a way to beat you. It's not a great feeling. This guy had 282 yards with Saquon Barkley. He felt like it was in the bag. He was up 24. And I've been throwing picks. I fig I know he probably figured, hey, this guy will make another mistake and I'll end the game. I totally understand where he was coming from. But you know your boy, man. This is why I say you guys can never give up on anything, man. If you're an LP fan, man, I do not want to hear anything about no giving up, man. You cannot watch this channel and give up on anything in life, man. You keep fighting and fighting until something happens, <laughs> something good happens. You take all your L's, man. You take all your L's, you learn from them, and then you come back and you start getting dubs. You get the comeback, man. The comeback is what counts. It's not what happens to you. It's what you do after it happens to you. Your boy.